so I wanted to do another what I eat in a day and I haven't done one of these in a while but this is the Weight Watchers edition. Um, I've been eating these. These are from Western Bagel, the roasted five onion bagels. It's one bagel for three points. These are frozen. I just kind of heat them up a little bit in the microwave to get them soft and then I put two like uh, Canadian bacon which you can have the Jones brand three slices for one point. I just had two slices, uh, so I just considered it one point. And then I did scrambled eggs and a slice of Velveeta cheese, which is one point for the Velveeta cheese, one point for the Jones, and then three points for the bagel. So five points for the sandwich. This is just cantaloupe, and I have it in this little stasher thing, which I love these for like grab and go. Uh, the cantaloupe is zero points. I already drank this much of my juggy today. This is uh, 75, or no, this one's 80 ounces of water, so I'm already pretty hydrated today. I've gotten up and gone on, I think I walked four miles this morning. And then for a drink, this is what I've been doing recently. I just have like these little Starbucks cups or mugs, and then I put in these Waterloo sparkling waters. You can get any sparkling water you like. Uh, so I just poured that in with some ice. And then I add a few drops of the crystal light, these little crystal light add-ins. I just had like a few drops of this is the mango, what's this one, mango passion fruit. So add a few and it makes like a really nice little refresher. So this is my breakfast this morning. So it's total five points. Okay, so I have these going in the air fryer. These are pre-made little tacos. Now I will leave the recipe down below. I got these from my friend Mary. Um, she made these for her family. Now I just make them in bulk. And I was using these tortillas. These are from HEB. And they're like corn and flour mixed tortillas. They're 100 calories each. But they're 3 points. Um, so it's kind of high in points. But if I use fat free cheddar. That's 0 points or for 1 fourth of a cup. So between 2 of them I end up using. 2 tacos I end up using. Um zero points of cheese and then the, the beef mixture that's in here is just lean ground beef and onions garlic and then a little bit of enchilada sauce so it only ends up really being about a point between the two tacos so these tortillas with these tortillas it's basically six points is what i count it like maybe probably seven points for two tacos using these tortillas which is what I'm gonna count it for this and then I top it with some Greek yogurt and a little bit of this you could even the Taco Bell mild sauce you could even top it with avocado if you want um, and they're just so good so I heat them up in the air fryer I pre make them and heat them up in the air fryer just to get them crispy again okay so I'm telling you I used to use these but now I I'm switching to the Mission Extra Thin Corn Tortillas. So if you do that, you can have two tortillas for two points, I think it is, or three points for two tortillas, and or two, two tortillas for two points. Plus then the mixture, plus the cheese, so it ends up being like two of the tacos basically for either like three or four points. So, um... It just depending on how much stuffing you kind of put in the taco. So I'm going to look up the Mission Extra Thin Corn Tortillas because I don't have those yet, so I don't know the exact points. But I believe it was two tortillas for either two or three points. Um, so anyways, it just would be way better. So I'm counting this as seven points um, for lunch. but And I'll show you it when it's all put together. But I'm going to be switching because like I pre I've been pre-making these for a couple weeks now. They make a really quick lunch. Then I just have like fruit or other things that I kind of fill in throughout the day. Um, I always cut up like a cantaloupe or watermelon or I have like frozen mango or some type of like fruit or vegetable that I snack on throughout the day. And I'm going to show you guys a list of snacks that are my go-to snacks. So after I show you my lunch I will show you that list of go-to snacks that a lot of people have asked me for so they can collectively see 
Um, so if I don't post another one of these videos real quick, you'll have like at least some snack ideas. So anyways, my recommendation is, and the recipe that I'm going to leave below would make these, um, I'll configure the points out, but today it's going to have to be counted as seven points because I did use these tortillas, but you know, I recommend if you make them, you use the Mission Extra Thin Corn Tortillas and you're going to get more for less this points. This is the tacos so they're just like nice and they're crunchy and crispy and i just dip them in a little bit of that greek yogurt mixed with the taco sauce and they're delicious they're cheesy the cheese is all nice and melted inside so it feels like you're having something super filling to me and then i will probably have a built bar which i'll show you later i always have a built bar it's like the one thing that i completely look forward to in a day i want to show you guys these snack ideas so I just have like my go-to snacks and um, I do have this on my Instagram so I put it under Weight Watcher snacks so basically just built bars hard-boiled eggs the O snap hottie bites pickle bites um, I sort of eat the hard-boiled eggs and those together I cut the eggs up and then put the hottie bites on top and like the little slices of pickle and eat those together um, string cheese any of the fresh fruit i just have it like in one cup portions same with the fresh veggies and if i want to add one point of bolt house farms ranch dressing to do to that i'll just make that one point snack sugar-free jello sugar-free pudding cups beef jerky the most beef jerky i find is only one point um per serving and i just count out like one point of it um veggie straws i use the gluck brand 77 straws four points light and fit Greek yogurt, um, apples, yogurt, covered frozen fruit. So I just use any of like the flavored yogurts and I put like raspberries, blueberries, mix them in Greek yogurt and then put them in the freezer and they make like really awesome yogurt bites. Um, grapes with sugar-free jello powder over them. There's like a recipe out there for that. Cottage cheese, 10 saltine crackers. If you want to do less, you can make it less points with Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge, which is one point for that, and then four points for the crackers, and Boom Chicka Pop Popcorn, Thin Cracker, the Good Thins Crackers, 26 pieces are four points, so sometimes I'll do that um, with the Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge. Okay, then we have like Pop Chips. Um, I use the Greek yogurt with sugar-free jello in the cheesecake, eight grams of that. You kind of mix it together and you can make a yogurt bowl. I top fruit on top of that sometimes. Fat-free Cool Whip mixed with one tablespoon of the PB2 powder and you can freeze that in little muffin tin things and it's a nice little dessert. Celery with PB2 powder. Uh, rice cakes with one tablespoon of marshmallow fluff, three points. I have a homemade bean dip. I have the recipe. Either I've made it on here on my thing before or it's on my Instagram. And Central Market Blue Corn Chips, 15 chips you get for four points. And then the dip is like one full cup, which is a ton for one point. Um, frozen mango chunks mixed with Greek yogurt. So I just use any flavored Greek yogurt and mix that the mango, frozen mango chunks. You have to eat them like frozen. Oh, it's so good. Tastes like ice cream. Um, Keebler Club mini crackers. You can have 17 crackers with two points. So as I come up with more snacks, I'll add them to the list, but I just thought I could get you guys started because I do have a lot of people being like, what do you eat for snacks? So here's a list. Even if I'm not coming out with these videos, hopefully you can use some of these as I do. Every day, like I said, I have a built bar. I know I sound like a broken record, <clears throat> but for me, this has just been like one of those things for me that have been the most helpful in my journey just because I really need something sweet and I really need something that like makes me feel like I'm eating a friggin' candy bar. So this has been one of my new favorite flavors. I really like the coconut one. I kind of go between those two, although I, there are several that I love, but if I had to pick my top two, it's the coconut and the mint brownie delight. This one tastes so, if you don't like mint, I feel like this just, the texture of this one, and I I eat this one at room temp because the texture inside almost feels like an actual like decadent brownie. And it's only 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugars, four fat, three Weight Watchers points, so boom. 
Um, and so I deal with 23 points a day. That's what I'm at, which is the lowest that you can have. So let me tell you, some days it's easy and some days it's hard. Um, but yeah, I just, I try and drink a ton of water. So I have my Juggie that I've showed you guys a million times, but I ha I get that off of Amazon and it's 80 ounces. One of them that I have is 75 ounces, but the one that I'm currently drinking out of is 80 ounces and I drink two of them a day. So <clears throat> 160 ounces a day really has been filling me up so that I feel more full. But these Built Bars are amazing. I do have a discount code you can get 10% off. I will leave that below if you're interested in ordering. My code is Mrs. Lola Lynn 2019 but Let me show you the inside of these bars. Oh, they're so good. They don't taste like protein. It's the, I hate protein bars. And these don't taste like protein at all, which is why I love them. Okay, so it looks like a regular candy bar, basically. It's just like a candy bar. Um, it's, you know, the size of my hand. Maybe smaller. But anyway, I'm going to open it up so you can see how beautiful it is in the inside. to get this so that you could see. It's hard to do this one-handed, but as you can see, it's like this, like, gooey... This one in particular... Some of these aren't as gooey as I would say the mint brownie one is, but this literally tastes like a fudgy mint brownie in the inside. It's so good. Um, but some of the other ones aren't as sticky as this one. I would consider this one a little bit more sticky and gooey. If, like I said, it's like a fudgy brownie with like a hint of mint. Um, so yeah. But some of the other ones are more of like a nougaty marshmallowy scent. Five points. This is lean ground beef. Um, it's like ground sirloin. I just look for the leanest. It's four points for the the amount of meat that I have. And then I used Alouette, garlic and herb, soft spreadable cheese inside, and I used one point worth of that. Um, so you just look at the serving size on that. So it's five points for the burger, and then I just put red onion, and I'm having some broccoli, so this is zero points, zero points. And then I have... Uh, sugar-free the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce on the side this is about one tablespoon it's kind of just like spread out but it's one tablespoon so that's zero points for that so the whole dinner is five points you can find this at um, eight I found it at HEB and at I guess I got messy all over HEB and Walmart um, so five points for dinner, and I had a lower point dinner because I'm going to have ice cream for dessert, so I'll show you that in a Okay, little. for dessert, I'm going to have some of this Enlightened Cold Brew. It's 70 calories per serving, so if you look on the back, it's a serving size is 70 grams, which is a half a cup. So it's two points for a half a cup, so I'm just going to measure that out, and I think I'm going to end my day at 22 points. Um, maybe I'll measure a little bit more grams of the ice cream to give it an even 23 points, but that is the last thing. This is really good. I've tried a few other flavors of the Enlightened. Um, I prefer the cold brew the most, and it's the least amount of calories per serving. Okay, that wraps up my what I eat in a day. I know that this video kind of ended abruptly for my what I eat in a day, so sorry about that. I didn't mean for it to end super abruptly, but thank you guys so much for watching. I actually filmed it yesterday, and I'm coming on because I'm like, I think I just ended it, and I didn't even say goodbye. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy seeing what I eat in a day. This is on the Weight Watchers plan. I only do Weight Watchers online. I do not go into the meetings or anything like that. I just find at this point I don't need somebody else to weigh me. I am accountable to myself and I just don't find it helpful to look at the scale at the meetings um, just because sometimes like in a week if I weigh myself at a certain time clothed and all that it just really doesn't get the accurate thing and I don't want to like pay attention so much to like the number so I've really just been weighing I weigh myself every day anyways but I just catalog that in they have a spot for you to plug it in on the Weight Watchers app so I really do use just the Weight Watchers app that's what's worked for me I've done meetings in the past and I just find this time I'm extremely self-motivated so I 
kind of just decided to only go with the online app. So um, if you are interested in seeing a full video, maybe explaining the online app, because I do have a lot of questions about that, let me know in the comments down below and I can do a full video, sort of like showing my online app and really just like kind of explaining how I go and plug things in and calculate points and all that kind of stuff. So if that would be helpful to you guys, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you like these types of videos and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.